Well, some people are calling it the end of an era. Barnes and Noble Bookstore downtown Wilkesbury closing its doors for the last time today. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News, I-Team reporter Andy Mahalshik is live in Wilkesbury with more for us. Andy? Well, good afternoon, Nick and Cass. I can tell you the deal is done. The doors are closed here at Barnes and Noble in downtown Wilkesbury. The lights are out. It's now closed for the first time in 15 years. And I can tell you without a doubt, many people we spoke with who came here on a regular basis are sad to see it go. Now efforts are underway to find a new tenant, a new business for this building. Many people who came to the Barnes and Noble store on Public Square in Wilkesbury were not happy when they read this sign. That Friday, July 23rd, would be the last day for this bookstore. Santo LaFoca came here often. I know that, that they, they drew quite a, uh, there, there was always a lot of people there, and I stopped in there almost daily. And um, I'm going to miss it very much. LaFoca says the folks who came here were like family. Hello, how are you? You know, what are you reading? Or have you read? Or um, let's have a coffee. And, you know, it's it was a nice place. Wonderful. Wonderful place. The bookstore was run by Wilkes University, King's College, and Barnes and Noble. The store also sold merchandise from both schools, but both schools have now decided to move on and operate their own bookstores on campus. Larry Newman is executive director of the Diamond City Partnership, a downtown business development group. We are going to work with the landlord and with the downtown community to identify or help them identify what an appropriate next use would be for that space. Wilkesbury Mayor George Brown believes this building won't be vacant for very long. Andy, naturally we don't like to see any business closing downtown or any other part of the city, but the city's coming back. I keep saying that and there's always interest in, in new businesses and, and other uh, people expanding or bringing their business from outside the area, other cities, so I'm optimistic. 83-year-old John Pushtiak would like to see another bookstore open right here. With Tudor Bookshop gone, B. Dalton Books gone, Walden Books gone, Village Green Bookstore gone, Mike's Library gone, the Book and Record Mart uh, gone. It's a pity for Wyoming Valley, I think. It is. And Mr. Puchniak mentioned all those stores. We brought back lots of memories for the kind of bookstores that used to be here in downtown Wilkesbury. Now, we did reach out to Barnes & Noble for comment for the story. At this point, we have not received a response. Reporting live in downtown Wilkesbury, Andy Bohalski, 2822 Eyewitness News. Back to you.